Hi everyone, it's Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover something that has been bouncing around the interwebs recently, and it has to do with this. This is a CCS adapter for your Tesla, and this particular one comes from my great friends at Handshow. And what this does is this opens up a whole new world for your Tesla for charging. So what is it? How does it work? Stick around and I'll show you. So as I said, my friends at Handshow sent me this CCS adapter for my Tesla. So for those of you that don't know what CCS is, CCS is basically the fast charging network for virtually all other EVs on the road that aren't Teslas. Um, you might have heard of charging stations from Electrify America. They use this CCS adapter. And if you're not a Tesla, this seems to be the standard, the gold standard for charging. And by having this adapter for your Tesla, you open yourself to many, many more options. It has only been until very recent that you could purchase this adapter very similar to this from Tesla themselves. And it is available on the store from their site. However, you might have trouble getting it. It's $250 on their site. Now this one from Handshow is in stock and it is also $250. But if you use the code Iowa Tesla guy at checkout, you can save yourself a little bit of money, an additional 15% off the purchase of this adapter. And from what I can tell, this adapter is exactly the same in form, function, and capability as the one that comes from Tesla. Now, before you go out and rush out and buy one of these adapters, you need to make sure that your Tesla is compatible with these particular adapters because not all Teslas are and there's a quick and easy way to figure that out and it's by going to the software on your screen tapping the car icon selecting software and then selecting the additional information about your car and what you want to make sure is to check to see if CCS adapter is enabled and if it says enabled you are good to go if not unfortunately you are out of luck for now as far as taking advantage of the CCS network um, because your car just can't use it. Now, Tesla has said they're going to be coming out with a conversion kit sometime in 2023. So stick around and see if that happens. But if yours says enabled, you are good to go to pick yourself up one of these. Before I show you how this works, let me explain what you get in the box. And it's basically just this. It's the adapter. On one end here, which goes into the car, is the familiar Tesla adapter. And on the other side is this big, large thing, which unfortunately is the size of the CCS connectors that plugs in to the fast charger. This thing has some heft to it. It weighs 800 grams or about 1.75 pounds. It is well built. Um, it is black plastic. It just has nice, good heft to it, and it feels really, really solid. So let's take a look at how this thing works. So I was recently out in Denver, Colorado, and I needed to charge. Unfortunately, Denver is a very busy location for EVs. There are Teslas literally everywhere. And a lot of times the Boulder, Colorado supercharger is absolutely full. And I ran into that this time. And just minutes away from that supercharger is an Electrify America station. And I thought, you know what? Let's give this adapter a try. So let's take a look at what happened and what my experience was with using this adapter at an Electrify America station. I'm in Boulder, Colorado at an Electrify America station, my first one with my Tesla Model Y, and we're going to give this Handshow CCS adapter a try. Never done this before. All I've done is I've gone into the app for the Electrify America, got signed up, and we're going to see what happens. First thing we got to do is take this monster, plug in our adapter. Now, should recognize Apple Pay. I had loaded it into my wallet. Right here. 
right there. As for charging at 51 kilowatts. See on the car we got a green light here. All right here ramping up we're already up to 120 kilowatts with this charger. Okay I just verified inside the car. The car say I'm getting 121 kilowatts. The screen to say we're getting 120. It's off by a little bit but more or less it's the same and we are charging at 120 kilowatts. So this is 150 kilowatt station from what I understand or excuse me, up to 150 kilowatts good and we're at about 120 so I'm not sure right now if that's you know the best we can do with the hand show adapter um, I can tell you that the cable and this are getting warm but the adapter itself is cold to the touch which is good so far so good overall the experience with electrify and American network was okay I've heard horror stories um, it did have took a hot second for it to accept the wallet setup, but once it did, but as far as the adapter is concerned, the adapter seems to be working great and doing the job exactly what it was supposed to do. Now you're not gonna wanna use the Electrify America station and that CCS adapter every time because frankly, the supercharger experience is so much better for Tesla because you don't have to mess around with credit cards or accounts or anything like that. You simply just grab it and plug it into your car and you're off to the races. So you can see that overall, the experience worked really well. The adapter performed exactly as it said it would. Now the adapter can handle up to 250 kilowatts of charging. And that's highly dependent on two things. One, how much charge your car can accept. And two, not all charging stations are the same. Very much like V2 and V3 chargers charge at different rates. The particular station that I was at was a 150 kilowatt station. The charger I was at was not a 250 kilowatt station, but it was able to pull the same amount of charge that I was able to get from a typical V2 supercharger given that state of charge. Another thing to point out that this particular adapter is weatherproof, just like the charger that comes with hooking up in supercharger. If it's raining, you don't need to worry about this. I can also tell you that it is rated down to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit and as warm as 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to work in all climate ranges. Certainly it's going to work outside ranges I want to be standing outside in. So you don't need to worry about that. Overall, I am super impressed with this hand show CCS adapter. It does exactly what it said it was supposed to do. And I'm really happy to have this in my toolbox of things that I use that give me more flexibility for charging on the road. And if you're an EV owner or you're looking to be an EV owner, you know having charging options available to you is one of the key things that you need to have to be successful when you're on the road. And certainly this one from Handshow will give you access to a whole new network of chargers. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to pick up one of these, head over to Handshow's site, use the code Iowa Tesla Guy at checkout to save yourself 15% on checkout. They're in stock right now. So if you're interested, head over there and pick one of these things up. So until the next video, we'll catch you later.